Is the real estate correction here? Well, hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty, and I'd love to share with you the stats, what we're seeing currently in the market right now. If you take a look at this first graph, this is the inventory graph. And remember, this is really the leading measure that everyone is taking a look at to see where we're going. Let's look at the active inventory on the market right now. The active inventory has gone from 1,272 homes last month. It's jumped up to 1,985 homes, and that's a 64% increase. The reason for this is, of course, it's, it's seasonal. It's traditional. This time of year, spring is here. People are putting their homes on the market. Number two is sellers want top dollar. And also, there's a slight amount of uncertainty and consumer confidence, so the sellers do want to put their home on the market to get it sold. If you take a look also right now at the pendings, the pendings have actually dropped. From last month, they were at 2,316 homes went pending, dropped down to 2,149 homes. Now, the reason for this is because, of course, the interest rates have gone up, they've doubled, and they're stating that they may possibly triple within the next few months, as well as affordability. Buyers just can't afford as much home. And then also, because of the rapid appreciation that we've had over the last few years, 20, 35%, it's definitely pricing a lot of buyers out of the market. But there is good news this is providing more opportunities for the buyers and more options for the buyers. And if we take a look at the closings, you can see last month there were 2,149 closings. Now the closings, of course, that's always the lag measures of any real estate market. Let's take a look at the next chart, which is the price per square foot. And you can see over the course of the last year, even the last couple of years, there has been appreciation in some neighborhoods, 20 to 35% appreciation, which we all know this is not sustainable. Um, and again, this is based on the closings, which is again, the lag measures. We will probably see this stabilize as we go into the months to follow. And the next chart, this is the average list to close ratio. So you can see that the homes are selling at 103% of the closing ratio. But again, we'll keep our eye on this because I believe we will see this slide to probably 100% of list price, maybe even below that. And we also see the number of days on the market is 15. And on this last graph, you see the month's worth of inventory. And you can see it has also jumped. It's jumped from a half of a month of inventory up to 0.9, which is almost one month's worth of inventory. Now, this is the first time that we've even been close to one month's worth of inventory in the last 22 months. So what does this mean? Well, if you're a buyer, there are more options. There's more opportunities, more homes on the market, and more choices. And the interest rates are still very reasonable to purchase a new home. And what does it mean if you're a seller? Well, we're still seeing sellers get top dollar and occasionally multiple offers if their home is priced right. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. Thanks and have a great day.